Hi, and welcome to the Expat Security GUI demonstration. I'll just close the help file for a moment. OK. The uh, matrix display is probably the first display you'll see when you open the program. As you can see, it's currently connected to an Xpac Series 2. If you're not connected to an Xpac Series 2, then this will be in red. And in fact, the very first time you open it, it will probably be in red. If you click on it, go into the MIDI port selection, which will be again be red. And you can select here the MIDI in and out port. This is a MIDI port via the USB connected to the computer. Hide. So, go back to the matrix display. First, an overview. The in context help. I'll open this so you can see it at the same time. This shows the help for the current page you're on and will change as we move around the program. The font size, both the matrix and the pass, have variable font size small medium and large. Uh, let's just use medium for the moment. We may have to change it. The uh, window is sizable and the amount you will display it will change with the size of the window. While you're in the window, you can scroll up and down and left and right. OK, now the very first thing you'll do when you want to open is to load the equipment rack. I've loaded preloaded some units already i have eight channels of pro tools insert as you can see i've defined them as inserts and i've normal two of them you'll see why later i've added a stereo compressor limiter a frequency select limiter an mp3 player which has got 10 dbs of extra gain notice the mp3 player is a source only the compressor limiters are devices and they are marked up as having being devices. Those vocal stressor is a mono device, and the ribbon mic and fire and amplifier is again a source only. I want to add the meters because the meters have not been defined, and it will make my life easier if I define them now. If you've defined the meter outputs for other devices, then obviously you will use no, you will not do this. But let me add some meters to show how it works. Meters. And I'm doing it because they're not defined. And the meters start at 25. There is no source. There are eight channels of meters. And they're not minus 10. Device, insert, normal. OK, we'll add that. Bing. And now you can see them. If we go back to the matrix, there they are, that's outputs. OK, so on the matrix screen, you can do nice, simple connections like this. But when it comes to adding multiple devices in series or even single devices, it can be quite complicated. You need to define a source, which would be, say, the Pro Tools. It has to go to a destination. In this case, let's take it. Oh, we'll turn off multiple. We can send it to multiple destinations. Let's, well, we might as well leave it like that. It's now going to the 760 left, and it can come from the 760 left and go back to the Pro Tools. And notice you can only have one source per destination. There's no something on the destinations, but you can have multiple destinations from a single source. That's all very nice, but it gets more and more complicated as you go on. So let's go and look at the pass. As I said, the pass also can change with font size but we'll leave it at medium since this is a fairly small, small display now you can see now the pass page data has come up so let's click on a, on something here we want to let's say we want to insert a device in here let's insert a stereo device it's currently bypassed as you can see and we'll insert the 760 Bang. Now that's inserted as a stereo limiter. Now, the way the chains work is you can, or the paths work, is you can enable them. There is a palette of 32 paths you can de define. You can have add extra destinations. Let's uh, 
and a destination here. We'll use Pro Tools IO3. Now, you might have noticed that some of the destinations are already highlighted, and this is because they're already in use. So let's go back. Let's not let's close out of here. We're not going to do anything. And now let's see what's happened. OK. We've got, let's see if we can see smaller font size, see a bit more. You can see the uh, output of the 760 is going to the return on Pro Tools 1 and 3, as we asked. And uh, Pro Tools, the right is just going to 2. And you can see the stereo source. Let's go back to the path. Now, we've used IO3 twice. What happens if we enable this one? Oh, it's turned that one off, as you'd expect. And if you enable this one, it turns the other one off. And you can see, easily see which ones are on and which ones are off. Let's imagine we want to remove this device here. That's hopefully this will work. Um, let's uh, delete it. Now notice here there are shortcut keys as well. And there we are, it's removed. Let's uh, insert a device. We'll go here, we'll insert a device, yes. We'll insert a stereo device, why not? Um, and we'll do the 560. Ah, sorry, I didn't enable the insert, so we've lost our destinations. So let's try that again. Let's replace this with a destination. Pro Tools IO1. And replace this one with a destination. Pro, Pro Tools IO2. And now let's do this properly. If we enable the insert, we want to insert a device and we'll insert a 560. Notice how it shovels along. Now, you may want to swap these devices. So one way of doing this is to go into here and hit on swap. But since swap is N, let's see what happens when we hit the N key. First, we should highlight this one, make sure it's highlighted. And you can see every, as I swap it, and you can do this in real time as well. OK, these are the paths. And as I say, you can define up to 32 of them. Each one, each path is up to eight long. You can just about see it there. And there we go. You can disable all the paths like this. And you can do a new path list. Now, when we do the new path list, you can see that one and two are enabled because Back in the equipment list, we said that they would be normaled and that all the inserts are shown, but only the normaled ones are connect active and connected. But we can also disable them like this. But new works very nicely. Thank you very much. Let's go to the snapshot page. Here we can enter a snapshot. Let's try this one. Let's, you can either double click or click on it and then press select. And this is called one to one. Ah, you can see why it's called one to one here. And we scroll down. Now, down here, why are there all these extra ones here? In fact, you'll see that when I enable that one, all four, and this one, all four. What's going on here? Well, the uh, there are XLR inputs on both the front and back. On the sorry, XLR inputs and outputs on the front, which are in parallel with the outputs on the back. And because of that, they both light up. Now to select between the front and the back, you can use this one. You can disable the front panel or you can disable the back here. Let's disable the back and I'll disable the back panel on the inputs. The inputs is the sum so that you can have, have both rear and front active at the same time. If I go back to here, and now you can see that these are the front panel ones and these are the rear ones, which we disabled. They're still shown, but they're in black. Sorry, in red. What am I talking about? 
Okay, that's covered that. We've covered the, snap the snapshots. You can have multiple snapshots. You can download the list. Currently, it will. you can download the first 16. Uh, I'm waiting for more feedback. It could be more. Um, there's enough memory in the device to put more, but the front panel is fairly primitive with uh, a single rotary and combined rotary push button and a small display. So at the moment, only 16. You can change the order. So if we select one, we can go, we can move up and down and you can delete them. You can modify them by going to your matrix, changing something. Let's, let's go. We've got one here called one to eight to all or channel one to all. There we are. It's a nice simple one. So we'll, so we'll select that one, go to the matrix and let's find channel one. There it is going to all. Let's change it slightly. Let's just do that. And now we go back to the snapshot. We add update. We could say modified here. It's selected and it will update because it's on the same name. The paths names have to be unique. And you can see here, you actually see here what's going on. And if you stretch the window, you'll see more. The information sent down is the current routing and also the front panel settings. So things like front panel gain and uh, uh, various and input and output selection will be sent down. Let's go back and take this back to the way it was. And we'll go back to the snapshots. We will um, remove the bit that says modified and we'll update it again. Ah, maybe I didn't select it. There we go. Okay, meters. Well, let's let's go back to one to one tool. Uh, here we go. Select. Oops. As you can see, we've suddenly got some music. Let's see what's going on. There you are. And that's coming from the front panel input. I can prove that. Where is the input? There it is, front panel. There it goes. In fact, that's one side, in fact, only. Okay, so that's covered most things. As you can see, the uh, help data changes as you change things. If you uh, open the window within the pass, let's open this window. You see it comes up with a different display for that, the palette window. Close that. Right click on the enable window and you get a new one for there. Uh, I'll probably expand some of this, but we'll see what happens. And uh, that's about it. I'll sign off now.